This week we discussed resilience and explored some of the evidence-based approaches to developing resilience. This isn't easy. Like other skills, developing resilience takes practice. It takes practice for me to be kind to myself, and I'm still figuring it out. Connecting to the things and people in my day that bring me joy, instead of always focusing on what can be improved, is a good way to start. That's such a wonderful way to think about it, Sarah. Everything we do in this space is a work in progress. Some aspects of resilience may be harder to achieve than others, which is why everyone develops their own sets of strategies. And those strategies may need to change over time, depending on changes in your life, which is something I'm working on right now. And sometimes, strategies feel hollow and not enough. One of the things that keeps me up at night in my day job are the times where I meet with postdocs individually who are facing extraordinary stress. Often the things causing their deterioration seem largely outside of their control. In those moments, telling them to create an action plan on their own doesn't seem like enough, especially because they may not feel like they have any power. They need help from me and others within our community to feel supported in their next steps. If that connects to how you felt when you participated in this section of the course, I hope this module has encouraged you to seek help and resources at your institution or within your community too. And as we discussed earlier, it's important to know yourself in order to recognize situations where you need additional support. Asking for help doesn't make you any less resilient. In fact, it might be the best action you can take. I'm not sure resilience is always thought of in the context of building transferable skills or professional development, but it's an important aspect of investing time in your own success and fulfillment. Whether it's using the action plan to hold yourself accountable, or just taking the time with your own thoughts, we hope throughout your postdoc, focusing on your own resilience will be something you prioritize regularly.